here's the anterior femur here. That's the medial calcar. And this is the posterior femur. So we're going to start our stem position in the usual place, which is posterior. So I can get a clear shot at the uh, femur. So let me. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to instrument the canal from this angled position, and that's tough. You can see why the femur is hard, it's very deep. Baby brooch? Okay, so you see we have to use curved retractors, curved inserters, and instruments. And basically, I need to push laterally. So we want to make sure we're in the canal. So I'm constantly assessing that with some curved instruments, blunt instruments. Okay, so I have to make sure I match her version and I have to lateralize it. And I have to do this carefully. Let's get um, up to a five in and then I want to take a picture. Okay, so we're using a brooch only system. It's easier when you don't have to ream and uh, it's hard to get a long straight stem in. So we're using, it's a standard length stem but it's a taper fit proximally. This would be a four? Okay. So let me just see the five and then what we'll do is we'll take x-ray and I can check the alignment and we can reduce. And then again we can fine tune the size, the position before going to the final size. Okay, so we have a five in. I think our final size will probably be a six, but I just want to fine tune it in terms of the alignment, the size, and the exposure. Okay, good. So we got our head on. Let's take this off. So what we're going to do is now raise the spar and we're going to take this HANA hook off and we'll take some preliminary x-rays. So whenever she raises the spar, it releases tension so I could take this off. So we're going to come in with our x-rays. Everybody's covered. You could come straight in. Picture. Good. So I could see the alignment is good. See my neck cut is good. I could probably go bigger on the size. Okay. And now let's go back to, let's go to uh, both lesser trochanters. So we're doing our leg length measurement of just measuring a reference line across the pelvis in the lesser trochanters we can see with a horizontal reference how close we are to matching her leg lengths. And that lo looks pretty good. So we have to make sure when we dislocate the hip that the head stays on. Let's go down on the table two inches, please. So a six should fit well. Uh, so we're a little bit short. What I'm doing now is, uh, is can we put the, femur, we put the femur up? So the alignment is good. I think one more size based on our templating. Just want to adjust the rotation. So to get longer, a six should be good. Okay, so that's pretty good now. I'm gonna take some bone graft from the acetabular reamer. I'll take a six, real thing. So we have our taper, wedge taper stem, proximally coated with plasma spray and HA. Had excellent results over the last 20 years. So uh, it's nice because we don't have to ream anything and it's, it's brooch only. Works with uh, all types of bone. So again, a curved inserter. I'm just trying to get this right down the canal. It's definitely a little bit uh, more proud than the five, which we expected. And I think that'll help us make up our leg length. It's not moving there. 
So let's see uh, the yellow head, please. So now we can fine tune our leg lengths with the uh, x-ray. Okay, so we see our alignment is good, our fit is good. We're gonna do a rotational shot. Good, so I see that I'm in the canal. So I'm, I'm good in two planes. And then we're gonna do the leg length. So could you bring it back to lesser choke anners? Okay, so our lengths are good based on the x-ray. Okay, perfect. So let's pull out with x-ray, save that last one and the two ones before that. Okay, so we're just cleaning and drying off the trunnion, avoid any sort of uh, corrosion. We're also gonna use a ceramic head and take some of this bone graft and insert it right here. So this is great stuff we got from her acetabulum. Good, so that'll just help reconstitute her femur. Okay, I got this laying back. Okay, so we have this ceramic head. Great. So we'll take these out now. We're ready to reduce for the final time. Okay, so we can take out the hook. So bring the spar up, please. We have our capsular flaps, which are giving us access to the joint, and we'll repair that. Great, so once it's reduced, I just like to look inside, make sure there's no soft tissue. But we do have the capsule here. And uh, we could give a little pull, distraction. Yeah, and back in. So I can see that that's clearly uh, nicely reduced.